that trip to Alaska. I don't think the Chuck Wagon Gang had ever been to Alaska. It's kind yeah. of breaking new ground for us. What amazes me is going to somewhere as remote as a, a fishing village as we went to uh, on the Bering Sea and find people there that had grew up listening to the Chuck Wagon Gang. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm always amazed at the diversity of folks that grew up listening to that music and how it influenced their life. If we go up there and they're singing their songs in their native language, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. That Church in the Wildwood they sang was, that was really, that was really something to hear. fun to just stand there when we were singing and look out and watch them all singing the songs along with us and the young folks singing them too. So. It seemed like every person we talked to, their father or grandfather had somehow or another got Chuck Wagon Gang records yeah. and brought them home. Yeah, there was a record store okay. in Bethel, in Bethel okay. Alaska that they ordered them from and then a uh, radio station from uh, Juno. I think. Okay, yeah, yeah that's right. I also right. played gospel music and a lot of Chuck Wagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
We hope you've enjoyed this video from New Haven Collections. For more videos like this, you can check out their website by clicking the box above. Also, be sure to check out the fun, frivolity, and music on Wilson Fairchild's YouTube channel. They're also a part of our YouTube community. Plus, you can see some of your favorite shows in their entirety at www.countryroadtv.com. Thanks for watching.